Hey, good afternoon. My name is Captain Cohen. I am the Brigade Ammunition Officer for the 35th Infantry Division, 35th Combat Aviation Brigade. We are currently deployed in Camp Buring, Kuwait. Uh, been all around the battlefield during this deployment. Been in Iraq, been in Syria, in uh, supporting CENTCOM's effort in Operation Inherent Resolve to destroy ISIS in Syria. Uh, I'm also of the Jewish faith. Uh, and I am a fellow NCSY or about 20, 25 years ago. I know I don't look that old, but I, I kind of am. Uh, yeah, Southern Region or Hanega, it's been a while. Uh, so every time I'm back in the States and people find out that um, I'm in the Army and that I'm also Jewish, I always get the same old question. What's a nice Jewish boy like you doing in the United States Army? I always get that question. And uh, I think the reason why I enlisted so many years ago and the reason why I've stayed in the military has evolved over time. Um, I enlisted in the military because I wanted a sense of adventure, because I wanted to see myself in a uniform. I enlisted because I wanted to push myself and push my career and because I just wanted to blow things up, okay, let's be honest. Uh, but the reason why I've stayed has totally evolved over the last 15 years that I've been in it. Um, I've stayed because I've wanted, to, mostly because I wanted to be a role model to my three young children that live in St. Louis, Missouri right now. I wanted to show them that you aren't pigeonholed uh, based to a certain career or profession based upon your faith. You don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer. You could be a strong Jewish warrior in the United States Army. And uh, so a little, a couple facts about the United States military. Uh, the Jewish faith in the United States military represents 2% of the U.S. military. 2% of people identified with the Jewish faith. And I'm sure there are many more out there that just haven't identified at all because they didn't want to be typecasted. Uh, so 2% in the United States right now, out of 350 million people, uh, we, the Jewish faith, represents 1%. So if you take a look at those numbers, we all have a disproportionate amount of service members of Jewish faith that represent our numbers in the States. It's disproportionate. And I think that's really telling. I think that explains what's in the Jewish heart, that we want to serve, we want to give of ourselves of this country in order to defend it and defend the weak. Uh, it, it really tells a, a, a story from our heart. Um, but the question is, how do we keep our connection while we're deployed? How do we keep our, our connection to Judaism while we're off in Arabic countries like Iraq, Syria, Kuwait, when there is no synagogue or kosher restaurant or even kosher food, period? And the way we keep that connection is through organizations like Kosher Troops. Uh, they send us care packages and Mashallah Manos packages and Shabbat packages and, and Kippot and Sidurim and things that we need in order to keep our connection. So I just want to say thank you to Kosher Troops. I want to say thank you to Sarah. Uh, I want to say thank you to NCSY in, in general and for all of our support out there back in the States because it is truly you that keep us connected. From out here in Kuwait, take care and thanks again.